Hi, this is Irina Baker, and I'm a spiritual self-awareness mentor, and I'm here with Jodine Bergstrom. She is a coach and a course creator. And hi, hi, Jodine. Hi. Hey, great to see you. <laughs> Thank you. You too. And I like your background. It's moving and all the <laughs> like a disco. <laughs> <laughs> in the old times, right? <laughs> you gotta have sparkle in your life, right? <laughs> That's right. Good memories and sparkle in your life. And I am going to ask you a few questions. There are no right or wrong answers. These questions are just for to see, uh, to ponder what really is there. What what exactly do you know? Or maybe you don't know. We will see. So the first question is a tricky, I guess, but it's not. Who are you really, Jodine? You know, that's a great question. And I think for me, um, I've had to kind of revisit that um, because I raised five daughters, had a business. And um, then about four years ago, my ex-husband walked out. So, um, you know, I used to always say I was a mom and an entrepreneur, but I think now I'm still a mom and an entrepreneur, but I think I have a deeper purpose. Um, you know, a lot of times when we have, especially when you have five daughters, you give your life to them realizing that there is life after children <laughs> and right. so um you know I'm on that journey and I don't have a specific one answer but I know it's a deeper path than um you know that original tag of you know being a mom and an entrepreneur um I feel there's um room for leaving a legacy and uh, really you know helping women i i'm i'm big on helping entrepreneurs i always have been i've been an entrepreneur myself for 35 plus years and so just helping people um find their their true voice and also their true message i think people are scared to you know really speak about their story so it's kind of a longer answer than you're probably looking for but that's kind of where I'm at that's your answer that's your answer <laughs> and interestingly enough you you didn't think about it before because you were so busy with your children it's full-time I mean to me it's two full-time jobs with five <laughs> kids <laughs> and now you uh, you started thinking okay maybe there is something more to life than that because now your life changed and you are on a path that you have time to think deeper and maybe that's right. why you're here at this interview. So what is the purpose of your life? And then I will ask about the business. So what's the purpose of your life first? Well, you know, there again, my purpose was to be um, the mother, you know, and, and really fill that need. But I feel like, you know, through this whole experience of, and not only did my ex-husband walk out, um, I lost both my parents and uh, within three months and then closed down my business. So I had a deep valley there where, you know, death was definitely an option at one point. And um, so I think really the purpose of helping those who really feel like there's no, no hope has become, you know, kind of, kind of my forced day of, you know, I really want to help people where, you know, I know I've been there, I've been in those depths and those valleys and to help bring people out of there and know that there is more and there is another purpose. I think, and the other thing too, I think it's hard for us, especially, you know, us in the 50 or empty nesting, our children are moving on. You know, when I was, my parents, when I was in that situation with my parents, we communicated, we still wanted to be a part of their life. It was family was a big thing. Now we have all of this distance and we have this disconnection and we have technology and that I don't feel, there's a lot of women out there that are struggling because they're not, they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to, you know, communicate with their children. And so, and a lot of the children don't want that communication, you know, they, they've distanced that. And so I feel there's a need and a purpose to help other women um, maneuver and figure that out and, you know, make those relationships, um, you know, strong again. So you answering, uh, I mean, at some point uh, about business as well, do you think your purpose in life and your purpose in business is the same thing or it's different? It's different. I used to think it was one of the same, but, um, you know, and I think the other thing too, as you know, a mom, you want to set a good example and, you know, running successful business, you know, that was definitely a strong push for me and everything I did. 
you know, the last um, brick and mortar business that I started up was a restaurant and I worked 167 days consecutively um, to ensure that everything was operating and functioning right. So, you know, kind of that workaholic um, and, you know, learning that uh, four hour work week <laughs> is a little more appealing now <laughs> and figuring that, you know, you don't have to, you know, you can still accomplish that, but you don't have to put those hours in. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that you know yourself, Josine? You know, I would say uh, four years ago, I did in and out. And, you know, this last four years, um, I know myself at a deeper level. And I think, you know, prior to that four years, I was in a controlled knowing myself. Like I only wanted to know certain parts where, you know, when you go into those valleys, you, you know, when you make that decision to heal and come out of that, you all of a sudden realize there's a deeper depth to yourself that you've been denying, you know, too busy, um, a lot of commotion going on. So I didn't, you know, really acknowledge it and probably a little denial too, <laughs> in all honesty, <laughs> parts I didn't want to know. Right. And you were busy with five kids. You were busy with that outside responsibility, outside of yourself responsibility. So it was easier to hide it inside, right? To not to yeah. look at it and ignore it. So, okay. I think you already hinted or even said it, but I'll ask you anyway, where does this self-knowledge come from? You said, you know yourself now. So where does it come from? How do you know what's there? I think for me, the quietness, um, going into meditation, um, just learning to, you know, be okay with the stillness. Um, you know, I'm empty nest. I live all by myself now. My, all my daughters are off to college and, you know, normally there was anywhere from five to 15, 20 kids in the house at all times. And, you know, now to just have that stillness and that quietness, um, and just that reflection too. I always, in, prior to that too, like when the kids would go into the vehicle or, you know, into the house, I'd sit in the vehicle for like five minutes and just, you know, kind of collect my thoughts. So I've always been, you know, pretty intentional about that. But now there's longer periods where it's like, okay, I can sit and really get to know myself and be okay with myself too. So are you saying that the knowledge of yourself comes from inside? Yes, yes. And journaling, and I do a lot of scripting and journaling, and um, you know, just even going back and reading some of the the um, earlier entries um, several years ago. That's you know, it's interesting to see the change. Mm -hmm. Do you like writing in the journal or you type it? Um, writing, and actually, there is neuroscience, and uh, when we are physically writing. Um, it actually wakes up both sides of the brain. So a lot of times people say, oh, no, it doesn't make a, a difference, but it truly does make a difference of physically writing that. And that concerns me because our school system is getting all these kids on these notepads and you know in the computers, they're lo losing that cognitive um, writing capability. So you know, whenever my grandkids come over, we're coloring or writing um, just so that you can encourage that because I, we, we can't lose that. We really need to keep that. I totally agree. I actually believe that the problem we have in America is with pens, because every time I buy pens, they go fast, they go out <laughs> so fast, and I just have a crisis of pens all the time. I buy them by, <laughs> you know, pounds. I I write so much. I do like writing and journaling. So, yeah. And, you know, one pens. of the things, I got one right here, <laughs> gel pens are great because get some a pen that makes you feel sexy. I always tell everybody, oh, my clients and the people I work with, because it flows and it really will help you. And mm -hmm. also if you use go, uh, glitter or not glitter, color, right. Um, right. that's another powerful thing as well. Right, right, exactly. Do you believe, Jodine, that by looking at outside world, you can learn what's inside of you? Well, our environment definitely has influence on us. And so I guess in honesty of answering your question, yes, because I'm very cautious of, you know, the old saying, we become the five people we hang around the most. Um, and so that environment is very, very important. So, you know, if there's negativity or, 
you know, things that I don't morally and ethically agree with, I remove myself. So yes. And if yes, how? Um, how can you learn about yourself by looking at the world? Well, I think the big thing too is when you have children, you base your whole life on what they need. And when that, when you transition out of that and it's what you need, you, you make different choices, you know, like just opening up to the beauty, you know, the quiet, the stillness and not having to have that stimulation a lot of times we do when we are raising kids um, and just reflecting and in appreciating nature. I, Mother nature is a big part of my environment. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You answered all the questions. I promised it would be a short interview and it was. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jodine. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being there and decorating our lives with a background. Nice background. I actually, I think I'm matching your background too with this color. You are. <laughs> I <laughs> love really it. Truly. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. And I am just proud of you for being out there asking these deeper questions and allowing people to, you know, see that there is more than just, you know, the narrow substance that a lot of times we want to, you know, stay in. Thank so thank you. you. <laughs> and I would like to invite you, everybody who is watching this interview, I would like to invite you to uh, our upcoming free five-day challenge. It's called the Discovery Challenge. Discover what's inside of you by looking closely at the world around you, hence the questions. <laughs> And if you click on the link, uh, or if you go to the website, irenabaker.com forward slash challenge, you will get all the information. Please look at it. If it resonates, go ahead and sign. And I am looking forward to seeing you here uh, on my discovery challenge. Bye.